Hey guys, welcome to Waste Out Wednesday, where we take old junk or things people might otherwise throw out and turn it into awesome home decor. If you guys haven't done so, make sure you hit that subscribe and notifications button so you never miss a live. All what right, are we so doing today? We've got this old window, and we love to use them as kind of for our, our template for signage. A lot of times we pick them up for five, ten dollars, and sometimes we find them for free when people call us and they're like, hey, I have like 50 of these and they're just wasting away in the backyard under the tree. And we sell them at the shop for $24.95 um, and we did actually haul a bunch of them for free and this was one of them that we picked up and saved from being damaged and left outside. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn this into like a faux chalkboard. We're also going to be using this old book with a broken binding that I have used for many a projects. You can see that it's already missing some pages. And we're going to be making a book banner and we have the new Valentine's Day stencils that just went up on the website over the weekend up. So if you haven't been to JanuaryVintage.com, be sure to check it out for the paint and the new Valentine's Day stencils, as well as we have over 60 retailers in the US and in Canada, Germany, and Australia. So you can check out JRVWholesale.com and look at our retailer map, see if there's one near you. So, right. so this is an old Reader's Digest book, and these are our favorite because a lot of times, they I mean, they were a dime a dozen, and a lot of times they've just been abused and beat up and hauled around and moved around for X amount of years, and then they end up at the thrift store or in the trash. So we're using this to make the banner out of. And Jamie's already cut some pages out a little bit. Yeah, I have my old vintage uh, paper cutter. I think I paid like $10 for this thing. Zeb keeps it nice and sharp for me. And I use it for a lot of projects. It does not have a safety guide, so I keep it away from my kids because it's not like the modern ones. All right, so first things first, this window needs a little bit of cleaning up. Someone did a bang up job the last time they did it. And so it's got this crusty latex paint all on the window. Favorite weapon of choice for cleaning the window is just a uh, straight edge razor blade. And it works for a lot, a lot of stuff to get off. I mean, I'll spray it later too, but. Yeah, make sure your window is very, very clean. I need the black and I need a stencil brush. All right. And I need a mat. Sorry. You need all these I things. I need a lot of things this morning. I'm going to get started on my project while you're working on that. And then that way we can show it to them here in a little bit. So with the book pages, I like to cut the sides nice and neat. You can also take and do like a little uh, pendant looking thing. I usually keep them straight. You know yeah, me, I'm like it simple. Um, and I'm just using a little black dress and my, uh, is this a little C? Uh, yeah, that's a little C. Okay. I'm gonna offload here and get some of this paint off. The right stencil brushes make all the difference. So right, this has so got paint front and back. <laughs> I'm gonna have to. Don't worry about the back because we're gonna paint that interior black to make it look like a chalkboard. But so we just need to. You'll, you'll see this. No, because you're gonna paint this black. This is the front. I know, but you don't need to clean the back. Yes, I do. Why? Because this will show up beneath the black. No, it won't. Yeah, it will. It's going to show through the window. But the window is going to be black. You won't see anything on the back. It's going to be solid black on the front. This is the front. Yeah. I so just clean the front, but not the back. Sweetie, this paint here is on the back, and it will show through the front on top of the black. Don't worry, I'll got, I got you. Okay. <laughs> I think that we are going to agree to disagree because there's no way I'd clean, I'd paint the front of this black and clean the back. So we're I think the, we're I feel like you're not picking black? up what I what we're painting the front of it black. Yes. Why, why the front? Because I want it to look like a chalkboard. Well, we always paint the back though, and then we just stencil on the glass so we oh. don't have to clean it. Okay. Well, if that that's that's see you weren't picking up what I was throwing down. I liked it. I was just going to paint know the you front, so it, I wanted to look like a chalkboard. Uh. But first things go, first on a Wednesday, communication. <laughs> you can go ahead and paint the back because it does make it easier. I just like the look of painting the glass on the front. But you're right, it does take more time to do that and we're live. So. Yeah, and I was going to, that way. I was like, what are you talking about? We're painting it black. I get it. I get it now. <laughs> was never going to paint the whole front. It was just going to stencil trust it. Trust my husband, Alan. Sometimes I trust him, but sometimes we're not talking about the same thing. <laughs> Kelly Nichols says, totally off subject, Jamie, your eyebrows look great. Thanks, they're my real eyebrows, just with a little bit of powder. When I was little, I had a wicked unibrow. When I was in high school, it was not popular to have thick eyebrows, but I didn't like wax them really, really thin. And thank goodness I didn't, because now thick eyebrows are back and I'm totally in fashion. 
<laughs> uh, but if you paint the front, there won't be glare. That is correct. So you can do this one of two ways. We, Deb is going to go ahead and paint the back and stencil the front. It is a good way to do it because then you don't have to wait for the paint to dry and all that jazz. But if you want it to look more like a chalkboard, I would paint the front, let it dry for a few hours, and then stencil on top. So I mean, I guess I could, and we could heat gun it. That would save me right. from having to clean the back. Did I miss very much? Nope, Sandy, we're just getting started. And we're gonna show you guys, um, so one of the new stencils that we came out with is a mini pack of eight. And yesterday for our channel members, we went live. So if you're a regular channel member, make sure you're looking in community for that live link. We show you how to just take two by fours and make little shelf sitter signs. Because we have so many two by fours that are gonna go to waste from the farmhouse that we can't use. And so I'm coming up with all kinds of ways to craft with them. So that's what we did yesterday. We'll show you that in a little bit. All right. So I think I am going to paint it on the front and we'll do the, uh, the no glare chalkboard look. What? I didn't know that you were planning on doing that. So I'll just, I thought we were painting the back like we do with the, the signs. It's okay. I'm centering this. And where's the wipes? Here they are. Sorry. <laughs> I apologize for the... If you took it off of that mat, it wouldn't be so loud. Well, it's... All right. I'm not sure how this is going to look. Oh, that's good. All right, so here's the first page that I did. It's going to go in my little uh, banner that I'm making. So this is the I Love You stencil. Look how cute that is. All right. I like it. I'm going to have to later go get pick up some pink and red ribbon to tie on my banner to add some more Valentine's Day because it's going to be very monochromatic. I didn't get any it's ribbon. It's going to be black and white with uh, jute. We have this from the dollar store. It's a dollar for three of these rolls. Um, 106 feet uh, jute twine. Yeah, dollar. I like the color on the jute. Zeb almost grabbed some yellow looking jute and I'm more of a brown girl. So, okay, it's going to get loud. All right. Have to be careful with this because you can't distress paper. Well, I guess you can. Not... All right. Okay, I'm ready to go with the black. Can you pass me the little black dress? Yes, in just a second. Okay. I thought I was ready. These flakes just keep Look how cute up. this one is. This is the little heart from the mini set. I like that one. Okay. Um, here you go. Did they see that? Did they see that? You could do it where they were all the same too, and that would be really cute, but I kind of wanted to show off all the different designs. So these all come in one pack, right? Yeah, there's eight in one pack. One of them is like a bunch of hearts. I don't know if I'm going to do that one because I feel like it might be too busy. But one of them is just a bunch of hearts. So I might do seven. I don't know how many I'm actually going to need to make the banner until I get started. Um, Jasmine Smith says, I'm happy to see some monochromatic because I'm not a big fan of pink and red for Valentine's Day. I like using other colors or muted tones at least. Yeah, I'm into muted tones. We will actually show you our signs here in a little bit that we made with these. And that's why I love paint and stencils, stamps, things like that, because you can take your existing home decor and then add seasonal without it being like, giant glitter and bright red shiny things in your face because that's just I'm, I'm farmhouse girl so i don't really love super crazy bright in my face seasonal decor so i always make my own and it just kind of jives with what i have going on i think i grabbed i need to, i need a brush to cut with since i'm painting the front i got oh, i grabbed the okay. wrong uh wrong brush i um, got you do we have like the the is it the little d um or a palm pro would work. A palm pro, but it can't be all frayed though. Sometimes yeah. those palm pros, they, they get abused getting jabbed down into small bottle or small jars of paint. I got one of the... And the bristles go I all wonky. The, you get your brush really and then you got a bristle over here hanging way out on the corner. Brush left. Now. Mm. Okay. Wow. Well, you want me to go check the sink? Uh, I'm sure there's not any in there. I was just in there washing. All right, I'll go look. I might be able to make this work. I'm, I'm getting crazy okay. with this this big uh, DIY brush. Except for I'm not going to get that corner. It's very, oh, going to have to wipe that off. Got a big glob over there. 
could tape it off. All right, how about a brand new But I'd rather just be careful than tape. And we can always wipe it off later. You got me a new Palm Pro, sweet. Yeah. Uh, Caitlin or Ivy, if you're watching, remind me that we need to take this out of inventory. These don't last as long as the um, So what I was talking pixies, about. But for a starter brush, I do like the Zebras. They do work well. This one's at an angle. So what I was talking about, Jamie likes to put these in the sample jars. And if you're not super careful, the bristles are just barely long yeah, enough. The dusty and they'll fits get all better. like that. <laughs> the dusty fits better in the sample jars. This is true. All right, let's see. Let's see, Michelle Wagstaff has a question. Let's see. What, what can you seal the chippy paint so it doesn't chip off? I have some old windows that are really chippy. Um, what is the name of that product that the Debbie uses? Like, not chip stop. Is it peel stop? I don't know. We have some at the house, but let me hold on. Let me get out the Google. I can't remember exactly what it's called. I mean, you need to make sure that you're wearing a mask and make sure stuff that's completely loose is off. Um, no, that's not what it's called. Hold on. Let me check one more thing. I'll look for you. Okay, that's what it's called. So peel stop, P-E-E-L stop, clear binding sealer. Now it will make it shiny and it's not water-based, but it will hold that gross chippy paint off. And you can pick it up at your local hardware store or you can order it on um, Amazon. We have a whole gallon of it at home somewhere. We actually don't use it that much. A lot of times I just go ahead and use like Big Top. Yeah, we use Big Top or... Because uh, I don't prefer the, the toxicity of it. The top coat and as long as it's holding it on from like flaking off, you're fine. But if it's real crazy town, Peel Stop might be your best option. But if it's not too bad, just use like a... Like I said, wear a mask, use a wire brush, make sure you're keeping it contained, especially if there's a possibility of any lead paint. And then you can seal it with big top or top coat, or if it's really bad, that peel stop works good. So hopefully that answers your question. Um, Angel Angelica says, I'm in my barn watching you guys. My horses like you and Zeb, they're watching the skirt. Oh, fun. <laughs> <laughs> we like horses. Okay, let's see, which one am I gonna do next? Yeah, I'm just stenciling book pages to make a banner. Okay. I'm gonna see if this, this truck, this Valentine's Day truck like barely fits on here, but I'm gonna do it. All right, now I gotta clean up. I've got a couple of oopsies over here. You got some oopsies. I'm gonna move the truck down because I'm kind of keeping things low so I have space to fold it over. Okay. Offloading is key. I can't remember who it was. I saw yesterday they used a stencil for the first time. They used our stencil brushes and our stencils and they're like, wow, I've never been able to stencil before. Like, tools are key. Make sure to offload and use the right brushes and stencils. Okay. There's a little Valentine's Day truck with a heart. That one's one of my favorites. The little mini truck gets me. We do have, it's not new this year, but we do have a big truck Valentine's Day stencil that's really popular that's up on the website. And then uh, most of the minis have matching big stencils. But I know a lot of people aren't necessarily making a ton of signs, so they like the mini packs so they can like stencil little signs or banners or whatever. Will a transfer stick well to a shiny ceramic crock? Absolutely, yeah. Do we, we, a crock would be no more shiny than a window or a mirror, and we put them on those all the time. It is considered off-label use, so um, be careful, you could Make sure it's cleaned really well, put it on, and then either seal the whole crock with a top coat so that way it's even, or you can take a little artist brush and just seal where the transfer is. Um, if it looks weird, you might want to just seal the whole thing. If it was me, I would just put the transfer on and leave it and then just not scrub the transfer because I feel like that looks the best. Change of plans. I'm just going to paint the lip of this frame. <laughs> it was, you it give was, up? Well, I was messing up like with the wiping it off with the bottom. Taping probably would have been optimum, or painting the back like, like I had planned to do. Well, I was gonna allow you to do it. I said okay. Allow me. Allow. There was a, an allowance. Well, uh, but whose funny. idea was the project? This is your it's idea. My, it's my baby, so. But I was gonna say, yeah, go ahead, and then you like all totally gave in and let me do it my way. So. It's all right. 
It's gonna look you have, good. You have the vision. Now you're gonna have black on this lip. No, I can wipe, wipe that, that off. off super easy, yeah. Okay, yeah, probably. This um, is why we do the live videos, you know. I say it almost every time so you guys can see what not to do and what order to do it in. Let's see. Um, Joey Flo says, just received my JRV order. How do I cure my IOD stamps? Just take fine sandpaper and go across the stamps so that way it gives them a little bit of tooth. Don't go too crazy town on them, just a little bit, and then you'll be ready to use your stamps. It just gives the ink or the paint or whatever you're um, using your stamps for, it gives it something to stick to. All right. Have you tried masking liquid H2O? I have no idea what that is. Oh, look at this one. This is a equestrian. It's probably one of those where you just put it over your stencil to keep it from bleeding through. Oh, no. That would be an extra step. <laughs> All right, I'm not sure that I want to use this one because what if I want to use this little horse on something else? You might. You might right, want to I'm going to save that. Use a different page. page. All right, I'm trying to think. I think probably five book pages is about enough. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's so I'm just going to do five. All right. I've already got three done, so I won't be using all of my mini stencils, but it's okay. Now i got to make sure I'm eyeballing it to make sure it's centered and all that jazz. So I think, since we're not painting the back, I can get away with one coat of this little black dress. It's got super great coverage on here. I'm not seeing any peekaboos. Well, another option that is, you can, because I do see some when you lift it up, you could just paint the back later. So if you have a solid black back and a solid back front, then you should be covered. Yeah. So that is an option. And then when you get your way at my way. <laughs> Oops, I shifted. Ooh, this might not be the best one. If I can get it back where it's supposed to be. Okay, we're gonna see. Let's see if I can do this at this angle here so you guys can see it go on. Uh, mostly. All right, I shifted a little on this one so I'm unsure. Oh, that turned out fine. Ta-da, that's the, heart, the key to my heart. This one actually was the hardest to design. I couldn't quite figure out how to get that key in there. Stencils can be tricky, but I thought that was cute. Deb, you hold the key to my heart. All right. All right. When I started painting, I was like, dang, I have to hurry and get my hands on this DIY paint. It's amazing. It's good stuff. It's funny because, so there's like two people in this world. There's like the right people and the wrong people. There's the people like and the people that don't. Just kidding. The right people and the wrong people. Just kidding. <laughs> it's so different from any traditional paint because it's thicker and more pigmented. But once people get started using they're like, holy stinker. Or I have like a ton of people that like ladies that work for me are like, I never liked painting before. And then I came to your shop and I started using DIY paint. And I'm like, wow, I can actually paint stuff. And they paint a good amount of this products that we sell in the shop. So it's good stuff. And I feel like it's really user friendly. Much easier cleaning it off the top lip here. Just done. Right. <laughs> Carolyn thought my joke was funny. I was just kidding, by the way. You can like whatever paint you want. But don't complain to me if your paint doesn't work. I get many messages. I bought that chalk paint they have at Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever, and it just isn't working. Any tips? And I'm like, uh, I don't use that paint. Here's this one that says be mine. All right, I think I'm good there. So I'm gonna let those dry up. The nice thing about DIY paint and stencils, if you've ever forgot to wash a stencil and you left DIY paint on it, you could just soak them. And then I actually use my stencil brushes because they're stiff and I use them to scrub the paint off and it comes off really well. Um, if you ever have a piece of your stencil that's like poking up or maybe you didn't put it away correctly and it's not flat, after it's clean, put a cloth over it and they're so thick you can actually quickly run an iron over it and flatten out these stencils. They're made to use over and over again. So there are a few more designs I'm not using. Maybe we'll show you guys. Zeb, since you're close there, would you show them some of the cute little um, signs we made yesterday? Yeah, start heat getting that, but careful to move it because you don't want to overheat the glass and... Crack the glass? Yep. All right, so these are just wood blocks. We cut them to the width of the stencil. They're, I should say they're not sealed yet, so they're not quite done. Yeah, these aren't, these aren't sealed. So the key to my heart. 
be mine. Oh, you have black on your hands. That's right, that's right. No, you got on the back of it. Yeah. Not the be mine one. Oh, it's just dust. The little mini truck. So the color combo on the pink signs is petticoat pink with weathered wood. And this one here is weathered wood, and then I layered the stencil with uh, petticoat pink, and then this underneath is crinoline. Is that no? That's the new. That's the old tarnish. This is the old tarnish pearl, but we're gonna call it crinoline. If you want to get this look, use crinoline. Yeah, I mean, that's <laughs> the closest you're gonna get. The the old color tarnish pearl is is retired. That's true. All right. That's the one with the all over hearts. So we did the all over hearts, and then the I love you. I actually like that design that he's showing better. If you do a white background, pink hearts, and weathered wood letters, that combination will give you the best results. The little that cherub. one's cute, like little cherub. Oh, I'm sad I didn't do the little cherub. You could invert the cherub and like make two cherubs coming towards each other, you know. Maybe I'll do the Here's the I love you in black and white. These are like conversation hearts, but on wood blocks. <laughs> Maybe I'll do the cherub instead of one of my hearts, because I really wanted to have that on my banner. The little oh, we still, don't forget, we got to paint the bottoms of these. Yeah, some of them the bottoms aren't painted. That one's kind of graphic, like 1995. So they're kind of fun and they're a great way if you guys build a lot save all your wood ends and you can make shelf sitters i usually sell those for like 4.95 in the shop and the two by fours a whole two by four costs what like three bucks yeah so basically every time i sell one of those i've paid for the whole board for the farmhouse so we're gonna go to the dollar store and look for some little greenery but we also did these uh, little terracotta pots that we showed in saturday's thrift store haul and these have the IOD knob topper stamps on them. They're like the perfect size for the little mini pots. But Valentine's Day, I feel like smaller decor is better because people are doing huge displays mostly and they just want little things they can add for the spring and for Valentine's Day that they can throw in and decorate for the season. I got one more. Yeah. And the nice thing about two by fours is they're like thick enough that you, you don't have to frame them and they can sit very easily on the shelf. The big trick that I talked about yesterday in our video that we did for channel members is that you want to make sure you're sanding all the edges so there's no sharp corners so they're rounded because otherwise they look like a two by four block. So you're kind of just trying to softening all those edges all right okay i'm gonna work on the banner here although i was gonna do the little chair where's the fat chair um i had all the stencils washed over there unless i didn't wash that one did you fall on the floor i don't know i know i can't. checked the sink <laughs> no i did you have it there? I'm high over there. I'm going to look on the outside of the table. Okay. Oh, here it is right here. Okay. It's underneath the edge of the window. Because I kind of wanted that cherub to be in the center of my banner. So I'm going to scratch. Uh... All right, you guys help me decide. I have to get rid of a design. Should I get rid of this heart with the flowers or this heart with the key? Weigh in and let me know. I think I'm only going to be able to fit five. I vote key heart. Oh, they said that love thing, the love sign is very vintage 50s. The way that's designed with the hearts. Nice. Key, get rid of the key, key, get rid of the key, get rid of the key. All right. Get rid of the key. Got it. I was right for once. <laughs> Let me cut another page. Man, it's like, oh, that's not going to work. I guess I got to pay attention. Oh, don't blow my book pages on the floor. They're not quite dry. Okay. Oh, uh, Colleen says, just received my corbels in the mail. Gorgeous. Thank you for doing such a fabulous job. Awesome. Zeb, if you, I think that she probably ordered the restoration style corbels. Oh, the restoration And those Zeb does all that work um, on his own. I do, the CNC cuts them out, but... Uh, the I finish is, work is done by the Zeb. The finish work is... 
tricky to get them looking old and aged. All right, so I am ready to put the big I love you stencil, which we've not used the big version of it. Diane says, I love how the little plant pods turned out. Now I think I need to make large ones. Yeah, I think it would be fun to do some large Those ones. Those would be cool yeah, with too. the, um, what is it? I can't remember the name of this thing. Is this the marmalade? Is that what it's called? The crock. The crock. Crocs. Crockery? <laughs> I was reading. Oh, I had it's marmalade crockery. on the, the crockery stamps. I, was, I had marmalade on the brain, but the crockery stamps would work good on some larger pots. Make sure. Do that way. Make and the sure. color combinations work out really well. They're well, I really pastel wanna, and they've got a good spring vibe. I want to do some sort of Valentine's Day craft using the IOD molds of the lock and key because I have two keys on there. And a lot of Valentine's decor has the cute little vintage keys in it. So. I'm trying to come up with something before the season has passed us. All right. Oh, you dried my paint. Can I have some paint? I dried your like paint? Like my mat, all the paint's completely dry. Oh, that's probably just because it's... <laughs> okay. Okay, there we go. All right. It doesn't take much to do this. I'm, I'm going to leave the rope from the pulley in here. I'm not going to worry about taking that out. Oh, it's got a little... Interest. All right, so this I is a little cherub. Isn't that one cute? I'm going to grab a tape measure for this that. one. Okay. Since that's, well, a ruler. Here we go. A ruler? The thrift is So ruler. I need this. So just to kind of give you an idea, what this needs you? to not be centered because these are going to go oh, down gonna have the banner about this far. So oh, that okay. needs to be kind of centered based off of that. Does that make sense? All right, I'll just... I may or may not have seen something similar on Pinterest last night. It wasn't right using there. a stencil, and the book pages were different, but... Okay, so I'm just going to line the outside sure margin centered. of the stencil because it's, it's the stencil itself is centered. Okay, I'm done with this. So we're going to go two and three quarters inches from the top. Let's move this in. Oh, Jean's showing up. It's yeah. Wednesday. Wednesday is our Monday here at the shop. First day we're open. You want to grab me that lid so I can put the lid on here? Yes. Sorry. Okay, so five and a quarter that way. Four and nine sixteen. Oh, someone's at the front door too. Someone's at the front door? That's weird. That's the front door bell. I'll go check Probably that. someone delivering something. I'll go check that out while well, you do that. Okay. And what you wanted this to be in the new tarnished pearl color, right? Yes, please. Yeah. All right. So I'm not going to tape that because the paint is so fresh. I don't want it to. Oh, I'm going to need a screwdriver too. That's dried on there. There we go. But the paint's so fresh, I don't want to tape to peel it up. Alright, so offload is the number one way, Jamie was talking about it earlier, to get a clean, crisp stencil. The brush matters too, but offloading is your best trick. And so this is a window, so I don't want to bang on it super hard and really go to town getting this paint on there. I'm just going to go slow and put a light coat on If I need to do two coats, I will. And I'm holding it in place with this, this hand here so it doesn't shift on me. All right, so it was the FedEx guy. Was the FedEx guy. It was uh, delivering casting resin. And oh, nice. we have some more um, water bottles. We've been selling those the water, water girls like crazy. Well, they're a nice brush. I think we just put in like our third or fourth order for them. All right, so I want to show you guys these. I did them last year. These are also some Valentine's Day stencils we offer. This is the heart pack. Are they fun? These didn't sell last year, so <laughs> they're out on the floor this year. They were hiding, they were hanging out in the dead body closet for a hot minute. Okay. Smith says, I went to the basement and heard a knock. Turns out it was Jamie stenciling. <laughs> <laughs> I, you're stenciling, so I don't want to interrupt you. I'm going to grab that twine that's on the other side over there. Oh, I could have handed that to you. Yeah, but I don't want any shifting. No shifting. Are there, are there scissors? Okay. 
Yeah, I got the dome pinner right up there. Um, you may want to unplug the heat gun and plug the uh, the uh, hot glue gun back in. It was, but I unplugged it for the heat gun. Okay. I like hot glue when I do banners because it's like instant gratification. It's easy too. You just it's it's got a nice nozzle applicator. Yeah. You do get a little strings, but you know a little blow dryer action on that. Sometimes you burn your fingers. I never burn my fingers. <laughs> well, you don't use the hot glue gun as much as I do. The hot glue gun is my friend. All right. Okay. I just <laughs> smashed my fingers. I smashed this <laughs> hand. Got like three smashed fingers last week. If you just plant, having a struggle. <laughs> if you plant in those pots, do you have to seal the inside? Um, yeah, if I was going to plant them, I probably wouldn't have painted the inside. No. I would have just painted the outside. We're just going to use fake, fake, plants. fake plants in them. Do you have to seal the black paint? <clears throat> uh, yes, we will be sealing this. Once it's completely dry, we will throw a coat of sealer over just to keep it on there. I saw a peekaboo. And actually, we might not brush on sealer. We might use, uh, we might spray it on. Like so it's a little bit more matte, like top coat. Um, although, that being said, if you're just using it for decor, I mean, I don't know that I'd probably seal it. Like, I will seal it because I'm selling it at the shop, but I stencil windows all the time and don't worry about it. Okay, I'm going on with a second coat because it was that black underneath was peeking through. This tarnished pearl is a lighter color, so it's going to take two coats of paint to cover up that black. So they said the dollar store has those small pots. We actually thrifted them, we got all six pots. Plus a little caddy for like two bucks at the thrift store, but this is where they like combine pieces. It's got like black on it. This is from the dollar store. You get three things of twine for a dollar. All right, I need to kind of measure when you're done where we're at. And then some for hanging and then some on the end. Uh, when I get this peeled off, I'll give you a nice close-up reveal on it. So when I'm working on a banner, I work from the middle and work my way out. So I like to find the middle and then I pick which book page is going in the middle, which in this case is going to be Cupid. So I'm going to leave that there. And then I need to fold them all the same. Uh, yeah, that's good. Need to fold them all the same. So I'll fold the first one and I use that as a guide to fold the other ones. All right. So that went on there real nice. I didn't even really wait for the paint to dry to do the second coat. And we'll get the banner on here in just a sec. Yeah, sorry, it took me just a minute. That's all right. I've got a couple of little touch up spots. I, yeah. That's so cute. And I put a little uh, heart for the period at the end of the I Love You. That I get to design my stencils. They're not pre-made for me, which is kind of fun. So I like to add little details like that. Was today's live started early? Um, Reagan, we go live at 10 o'clock now. We've been going live at 10 o'clock for a we few switch, months now because it up along. the shop opens at 11. Yeah. And so we like to go live and be done before the shop officially opens. The nice thing about doing book pages is that you have these lines from the words, so you can kind of make sure you're straight on your folds. Okay, I'm going to steal some Can you power. paint a wicker shelving unit white and black, second coat and sandy edges to see white underneath? Yeah, um, anytime I do wicker though, you spray. I spray it with a spray gun because Brushing it is a pain in the bum. I actually had a customer come in not too long ago. She wanted to brush wicker. I advised her against it. And she came in later and told me I should listen to you. So she actually went out and bought a Harbor Freight spray gun to kind of use. And the project went much better. But yeah, you could spray it white and then spray it black and then wet the stress the black to show the white through. Um, you might want to put a little coat of sealer over the white if you're using DIY paint so you don't go all the way through to the wicker. So let's do it Carolyn says she loves the tiny heart at the end. 
Um, she like, can you paint over laminated press board like in a bookshelf? Yes, you can. You need to lightly scuff it up to give the paint some tooth to grip to. Um, if it takes you too long to sand it, then you're working too hard. Although if it's one of those bookshelves where it literally has like the peel on paper finish, if you know what I mean, I would not suggest painting that. It's not worth your paint. It'll be a pain in the bum. Okay. Where's my cherub? There it is. So that's the center of my banner. So I'm gonna put that on the center of my first book page. The spots I just painted aren't evening out. They're still wet. <laughs> yeah, it takes a minute for them to dry completely, but once it's dry completely, it'll be fine. Okay, put that center in there without burning myself. And did you say you want to put hooks on this or no? Um, like a French cleat. Oh, cool. okay. It's just going to be a sign. No, no hooks. Oh, to, no, no, I wasn't going to do that. I was just going to make a sign. Okay. Because I think people probably don't want to pay to have hooks added to it. Well, because it's probably only for Valentine's Day. Yeah. I mean, you're not going to probably leave this but up. But we do need round. to have some way. I didn't think about that to attach this banner to this. Oh, I've got... <laughs> I've got some tacks, some upholstery guys. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. Okay, so I'm starting my banner. I got my little cherub on first. So now I need to figure out how far apart I can put these other pieces on here. So these are just decorative tacks. They're used to cover up like nails, nails and things on upholstery or something that's like exposed or to add decorative detail. So we're going to use these to hang her banner on here. Oh, I forgot to pull this one. So we don't really have much space to put in between these, so about a half an inch in between. Okay. Here, let me move the window and we'll do it right here in okay. that. If you want to move that stenciling mat. Alright, I just have to fold this. Sorry guys, if I don't do this just right, it might be kind of boring to watch me. But if I don't do it just right, I'll be super annoyed that it's not even. Crafting live is not for the weak hearted. All right, so the next one over, I'm gonna go something a little lighter because this is heavy, lots of paint. Okay. So go about half inch. All right, am I, am I gluing this as I go? Yeah, but maybe like a little bit more than that, if that's what a half inch is. That's a half inch. Okay, maybe like that's a like, quarter. It's like five eighths of an inch. I'm not very good at the whole measuring situation unless I have a measuring tape. All right, that one's folded. Well, you know what? I'm just going to glue them here and we can like arrange them. Oh, no, so I glue right there. on this part to oh, hold yeah. it in place. Oh, well, hang on. Because otherwise they'll slide all over the place. Okay, so you so want you, about so you an need, inch. So you're going to have to stuff glue in there now. That's fine. Let's get them on here and then we'll lay them no, out. No, that's not a good idea. Just stuff the glue in. It's easier if you, you want glue all the way Jimmy's along. Jimmy's very particular this morning about her ideas. Well, I've made a lot of banners. <laughs> Look, I, I just poked the glue. I know, I but it's better it's if you have the glue all the way across it. Across. Across, apparently, isn't a word. I get told that. Across is very regional here in Utah. Like, everybody says across. I know it's not right, because that's not how it's spelled. So, but, Deanna you know. says, I was thinking about how cute that would look above a headboard or entryway and change up the banner, then it's not always Valentine's. Absolutely. I love these little banners. They are really easy to throw together, and you could knock out a bunch of them if you just kind of streamlined it in a little bit of time. All right, so, so this next? The next one, this one is going over here on this side. This side, okay. But you have to put a bead of glue in the crack. I'll put a, look, this one's fine, but I'll put your bead of glue in the crack for you. Get that crack glue going, and then these are on the edge. So the, if you're wondering why I'm arranging them in this way, some of these are more visually heavy because there's more paint on them, like the cherub and the truck. And then these ones are a little bit lighter because there's not as much paint and it's just more pleasing to the eye if it's balanced. Bring it down to two and a quarter, Zeb. Uh, let's see. It would look great with family shadow faces all year too. Oh yeah, like the side profiles. I did those when I was a little girl. Um, the silhouettes. In the craft section of the Dollar Tree, they have little pink silicone guards for your fingers in the hot glue. Alicia says she loves the crack glue statement. That's where it goes. It goes in the crack where I folded it. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see. Renee's on. My sister. She says, hey, sis. 
Hey Renee, how's the uh, new office working out? My sister just got a promotion. She just moved to big office. Um, I'm just making sure I've answered every question. If you guys have more questions that we missed in the beginning, let me know and I will answer them. So there's only five, right? Yep. So I like to do my banners when they're hanging down odd, so that way there's a definite center of the banner like odd numbers if possible. And what you won't see on this live is I will probably go ahead and pick up some pink and uh, red ribbon to tie on each side to give it a little bit of color. The window will sell, because it's a window, the window itself undone would be like $24, but because we've zhuzhed it up, we'll probably sell it for um, $49.95, including the banner. And a lot of people love to have their decor pre-made for them. So they're super excited to come in and, and pick up the whole situation. All right. So that needs to, that's going to You have, want it to drape a little? Yeah, it's going to need to drape more than that. Okay. So let's measure each side here so that way we know it's centered. Can you give me the, the ruler? How far are you hanging it down? So I just did two and a half inches. On this side. To the corner? Yeah. Two and a half inches is right there. I feel like that needs to hang down a little more. Well, we could always adjust it. All right, we'll I'll see how much it. it hangs once we flip it up. I don't know. Here, you're you better at centering things. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pass the well, baton. You, I don't know what you're doing with your two and a half over here. I don't know. Oh, look. You didn't get enough glue in that crack. It's fine once it hangs. It has lots over here. Put a bead of glue all along the crack <laughs> and then fold your paper over. And then you're going to put two little dollops on the each side just to hold down the bottom part. But that's what you do first. Um, you could use those small clothes the pins and change out the photos. Yeah, that'd be totally cute. The to whole gluing situation. And you could, there's this, <laughs> I made a lot of banners. Um, you could go ahead and glue it and put the clothes pins and paint the clothes pins like pink or red. That would be really cute and it would look like the clothespins were holding it on but the glue is there because really nothing's worse than a banner and the wind blows and it falls apart all right oh i feel like is that that's a little low we gotta move it up yeah you were worried it was going to be too high yeah it needs to go up about a half an inch on each side it says omg ocd much said usually he's the one that's ocd and today i am but that's because i don't want to have to fix it later like literally as soon as, well, what we will, when we're no longer live, we'll seal the front and then we'll put it up. So it won't go up for a little bit. All right, so there you have it. We use the new JRV stencils, some DIY paint, an old free window and some book pages. I think I paid 25 cents for that book. So not too much expense with some dollar store uh, twine. And we've got a cute little farmhouse Valentine's Day window. There we go. All right, I love you, Zeb. Thanks I for helping. I love you, Zeb. <laughs> All right, guys, make sure you're hitting up jamierayvintage.com for your paint and products. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. Oh, are we done? I was going to show them some stencils oh. on the blocks. Oh, hold on. People are going to think we left. I guess you, we can stencil some more. <laughs> Jamie's, like, Jamie's yeah. ready to go. She's like, let's get on with our day. <laughs> uh, random question, Jamie. What was the MP color you used for stain? Oh, I used the black one. I've used that uh, lantern. That makes a really dark gray stain that's great. Or um, I've used the brown, which I keep, suitcase. So either suitcase or lantern. Yeah. All right. All right, so I had, where'd the blocks go, the extra ones? Um, they are over there. Sorry, I, I guess really, we're not leaving yet. I was just really quickly going to. I like, I was down. I was ready to move on. And now we're stenciling some more. It's all right. It's cool. I just, I, this is going to be real quick. Well, the thing is, my friend, that these are all dirty. Oh, you need, I, I want to do this one. Where's the pink heart one? The pink heart one? With the heart stencil. What is that? This one? The all over. Oh, the all over hearts. I don't know where you put that one. Are you going you to do a little bit different? Uh... Yeah, I want to do it a different combo, but I can't find my. Oh, there's the mat. I was looking for the mat. It looks like it's over there under the book. Boom. All right. Because yesterday we did that combo and I didn't really love the way it turned out, so I want to show them what it looks like if you do the hearts in P. 
pink. But now I gotta get the pink. But now you gotta go get the petticoat pink. Now I gotta get the petticoat pink. Hey, where'd you put the other uh, little black dress? On the floor. It's on the floor. <laughs> I'm gonna do that out of the way. All right. So if you're a channel member and you watched yesterday's video, you would have seen this technique already. Oh, and I know what you're showing them. So I'm very proud of this shading technique situation. Oh, I forgot the rough brush. I don't know if proud is the right word, but I did like it. Yeah, it's not the brush. Yeah, here. What color do you want? You might have to go get a fresh one. This one's been used. No, the little ones right there. Oh. Yeah. So we actually cut the boards to be the exact width that my stencils are. So that makes it really easy for centering. Little pro tip there. Do one heart in red, Jamie. I don't have to get it to the red paint. All right. This stencil brush is like the exact right size for the number 16 for these hearts. So yesterday I used weathered wood. Today I've got some black on here, but I'm gonna try the petticoat pink when Jimmy's done there. Oh, I'm gonna be a minute. There's a lot of hearts on this. Okay. <clears throat> so I've got I've got my my first color down. While you're waiting for me, do you want to go grab me the red so I can do run red heart? One red heart, yeah. Rachel really wants me to, and I actually think it's a fabulous idea. Somebody mentioned it yesterday on our member live. It might have been Rachel then too. I don't know. So we have this heart stencil in a bigger version, like a giant sheet. So if you wanted to do a big sign, you totally could. All right, there's a little bit of spot of red for you. Okay. I'm gonna reach over. Okay. <laughs> we both need so much, oops, I forgot I was gonna do red. All right, give me that little stencil. The little one, I'm gonna paint over this one. The little one right there. Over there. Oh, the brush, you said stencil. Oh, <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, All so right. now I'm just going to shift this over just a little bit. Oh, how do we flip that, whoops. That's cute. Good job, Rachel. All right. So, so just a little shift here. We're going to get some fun kind of shading going on. This is petticoat pink. Can I have the black? Yeah. And the black brush. Thank you. Try not to get too much on there. Boy, that black just right on my brush here. Sorry. It's the block of wood, I'm telling you. All right, there you go. So you've got the hearts, they're kind of subtle in the background. I even think if you did these, if you mix the pink and the red and made a deeper pink, it would be pretty. And once I seal it, you'll be able to see that. Look how cute that is. So this is my favorite combo. So white in the back, pink hearts, black or weathered wood with the I love you. I should have waited for the black to dry. Now I'm just chasing it. Oh, well, you'll get the idea. <laughs> So that, that's how you get the shaded look. You use the dark first and then the light or the light and the dark. So I basically made like a, a brownish pink color. With, so <laughs> with I got a question, black. you typically only paint your skeleton lamps white. I do, those sell best. In fact, the one we just did the other day sold over the weekend um, and she's picking it up this week. So good thing we have another one here in the studio to get done. All right. Now you can tell them where we got the paint, where they get the paint from. All right, now we're done. If you want to be. Seb and I are out of sync this morning. We need to have a meeting afterwards. I'm going to go work at the farmhouse. All right. <laughs> Make sure you guys hit up jamierayvintage.com for the paint and products. Definitely get your stencils ordered soon if you haven't done so already so you can get your Valentine's Day up and selling in your shop. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY.
Love you guys. Thanks for joining us. I gotta keep smiling till he hits the button.